Good morning. Came back to share a journal that I've made kind of in between custom orders. And I just had a whim, I guess. And I have two really vintage um, cookbooks. And so I've taken recipes from that. I've taken this image from the cookbook. It was a dairy cookbook, and I wanted more than dairy, so I added Country Kitchen. That was really pretty paper. I thought went well with it. And it's a single signature. A little bit chunky. I like it. Okay, let's go inside. Got a sticker that says, look what's cooking. This is the table of contents from one of the cookbooks. Gorgeous color on there. I've added a couple stamps and a little journal card. Another stamping. This is a page from that cookbook. Again, gorgeous color. And a little spoon sticker because it's cute. I was looking at this as a place where you could collect family recipes. You could write about family gatherings where you had wonderful recipes. Just journal recipe gathering place. Another recipe from the cookbook and a little stamping on the pocket. Hope everybody's doing well today. A little nippy today, but that's okay. That's okay. Um, a recipe card with a little stamp at the corner. And then I backed onto an index card just in case the recipe you want to write down is a big one. Or, ooh, yes, you could write the recipe down and journal about it. Maybe it's a vintage family recipe that's been in your family for, oh, generations. So I tea dyed this new recipe card. I thought that turned out nice. And these I found at a yard sale. And I backed down to an index card. Lots of space to journal, lots of space to add your own recipes. A label with a duck on it. Why not? This is also a page from the cookbook. I've added farmhouse over the dairy part. <laughs> um, a couple of stamping and then just some scraps of paper that you can journal or write a recipe on. Another recipe, cream of vegetable soup. A belly band with a sticker. A recipe card. Another one, a little stamp in the corner. And index card on the back. And a smaller recipe card. Index card. If you didn't want to keep recipes but you like the recipe theme, you could also just journal on the recipe cards. Lots of options. So I found <laughs> a discovery. I had a recipe card big block stamp. You know, I don't do well with really big stamps anymore, but this one turned out really awesome. So I've added a couple in here. That's a nice, a nice stamp. Um, cottage cheese omelet, buttermilk soup from that vintage recipe book. And then I've added a sticker and some stenciling at the bottom. Okay, I don't usually do altered paper clips, but I had an urge because that was such a beautiful image. But it's a gigantic altered recipe card. But it's so pretty I couldn't I couldn't not. So it's in there to use to hold in a recipe until you get it written down or however you wanted to use that. This is from a different vintage recipe book. We've got a few recipes to look at there. And then this one is a bit much smaller. Scones. My husband hates scones. He thinks they're too dry. I think they're lovely. 
over the page like so. A little tuck spot there. Now, I found this at a, at a garage sale. No, an estate sale. Something. Anyway, my mother used to do this all the time when they did recipes in the newspaper. She would cut out the recipe and I just thought it, it reminded me of my mom. So I added it in here. Just from an old newspaper. Three more lovely recipes with stickers. And the other recipe card stamp. A belly band with buttermilk porridge on at this time. I have never had a porridge. Anybody else had a porridge? I wonder if they're good. A recipe card there. And this recipe card with a little stamp. Index card on the back. And a smaller one. You can write about Thanksgiving feasts and all of the vintage family recipes that you use for that. Stamping top and bottom little croissants. And then you've got lots of journal space there. Another label with a pig on that one. Cheese ravioli on the pocket. Large recipe card. It's a vintage recipe card. This one I really like. Oh, lined up both sides. Awesome. You don't see that much. And again from that yard sale. There's stenciling around the page there. And then a ball jar sticker. And that is my country kitchen cookbook. I hope you like the flip through. This will be listed in my Etsy. And have a wonderful day. Bye-bye.